Hey, good afternoon. I'm here to share my latest. This is for, this is a gift. It's not for sale. Um, it's two, two pieces of cardstock glued and sewn together. And then I've done the spine with some muslin, tea stained muslin. And this beautiful lace it was a gift from Rita. Donnelly. Thank you, Rita. It's beautiful. This I got from a, a planner that I got at a yard sale. It's a Monet. And I'm titling it Memories. It has lace trim for the closure and eyelets. There's a bolt pin. And it has a bead dangle on it. And if it will let me show you. It has a little charm. The owl. And let's go inside. This is one signature. Um, little chunky, but not bad. It still is pretty flat. The story begins on the pocket. With some lace trim. In the pocket, we have him and the Open tag. It says remember and forever. <clears throat> Excuse me. This paper and most of the paper in here comes pattern uh, digital papers comes from front porch design. So this is one. I have decoupaged napkin. This is a quote. Here we have a corner tuck with a image from Tracy Fox. Beautiful. And inside, we have some beautiful pa pattern paper for a journal card. And this tag from Front Porch Designs. I seem to have been using a lot of her stuff in this particular journal. It's very pretty. A paper bag. And inside, we have a journal card. That is from Front Porch Designs. And I've added right, and then a Tim Holtz sentiment every detail of their journey, or her journey, however you want to phrase it. I corner punched and stamped remember. On the back side, we have an image from Mrs. Cox, her pretty, no, her pink in the garden. And some trim that I got from Sarah Garza, thank you Sarah. And then we have this beautiful pink fabric that Rita sent me. It's very pretty. And I've just stapled a bit of it onto a front porch designs little journal card. It goes right behind there. Sing to the Lord with thankful hearts. Some corrugated lines. A pocket that I've doubled up. It's an Edith Holden book page. I've doubled, doubled it up to, for make it more sturdy. And then I've sewn around. Inside we have who is this? It's not Tracy Fox. Mrs. Cox, thank you. Mountain Mountain Flowers, I do believe. Journal card. And an index card that I punched the corners. Stamped remember and a teddy bear. She can journal on the back. A little bit of stamping throughout with my postal type stamps. A little paper clip, uh, binder clip. This is an envelope that I got from Leslie's shop, Vintage Paper Emporium, over on Etsy. And then I've just decoupaged a little bit of napkin on it. And on the inside, We have a journal card that I've made with a little piece of decoupage napkin, and I've stamped family. This paper also comes from Front Porch Designs. It's very pretty. Ooh, a photo on there. That'd be nice. And then I've made an envelope out of Edith Holden book page, and I 
glued it wrong, but that's okay. It works. There's a quote. If they humble themselves before me, then will I make weak things become strong unto them. And stamped. And this journal card from, again from Mrs. Cogs, Pink in the Garden. I like pink, so that was perfect for me. Edge punch this page. Another decoupage napkin. Note, note paper that I've cheat eyed. Grid paper. Some more. Uh, this is from a paper pad. And I've made a pocket, sewn around it, doubled it up. <coughs> and, excuse me. A tag that I've made. Let's remember on the back. Some ribbon trim. And this comes from Front Porch Designs. Little pin nibs. Lined paper. This is confidential. One page, one page. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Another paper pad that I have tea dyed. An image that I have made into a stamp. Here's the center of the book. A little pocket that I've edge punched. On the inside we have another quote. Your goal should be out of reach but not out of sight. And an envelope that I don't know where I got it from. But this is the image I put on it was from Front Porch Designs. And then inside the envelope we have a little bird from Tracy Fox. And it's just holding down paper. And it opens like that. Another pocket. Sewed around. This one has a mini journal in it. That I've made with a, a big index card. And then I've sewed with my sewing machine the signature in. And then covered it with some tea dyed muslin. This is from Mrs. Cox and notes. And then we open it and there's May the Dear Lord Bless and Keep You. And then just random note papers that she can turn on. And then there's an embossed piece of paper and some more note paper. And then I've just sewn them all in there. Here is a belly band that I've done with cardstock, heavy cardstock, and then I've edge punched it. And then this is a piece of lace from, oh, I can see your face, Rita, Rita Donnelly, excuse me. Okay, I have a very, very bad memory, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here's some couple pieces of note paper, paper punched together, goes under the belly band. And this was sent to me with a, a swap I did, but I don't remember from who, I'm sorry. But it's very pretty. And you open it. And there's a quote that says, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Martin Luther King Jr. Right. And that goes under the belly band as well. Here is an image that I got from a telephone address type book at a yard sale. And I thought it was a pretty image, so I've wa washi taped it in here. So you can, she can journal on the name and address part. And she's still got the whole page she can journal on. Here is an altered paper clip. Compliments of Tracy Fox. Very pretty. And then she can stick things under here. Papers, pictures, whatever she likes. <clears throat> this is a die cut 
that came from um oh my goodness you know who she is my mind just went totally blank um Rita oh my gosh I'm sorry Rita Rita Donnelly my memory is so so bad I've stamped a quote here and I've got some pretty ribbon and just extra tea dye paper for journaling thank you here Melinda great ideas here we have another front porch design journal card. More corrugated lines. The other half of the paper bag. It's another Mrs. Cog's Pink in the Garden. And then I've added some lace trim from Rita. And a journal card from Front Porch Design. And then inside the bag, we have more of Rita's beautiful fabric. This is the tab for a journal card that I've made. This beautiful stamped image comes from Lisa Hobson. Isn't that beautiful? And then I've just sewed it onto the card. There. Another corner pocket with a Tracy Fox image, another journal card from the paper pad, that's so pretty. And then we have three tags that all come from Front Porch Design, and I've just floral ratted them together, and she can take them apart, she can move them together, whatever she likes. Beautiful flowers. For stamping. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, my decoupage wasn't quite as dry as I thought it was. Anyway, there's a decoupage napkin. We're stamping. I think it's okay. Yeah. And the last pocket with a little bit of lace trim. And this is an experiment that I did. I had some Edith Holden book pages that were just writing. I couldn't really see using them in a journal, but I had to use them, right? So I decoupaged whole napkins onto a sheet of Edith Holden book page, and it turned out pretty cool. I would recommend I try it. Here's uh, Mrs. Cog's Mountain Flowers journal card that I made with a little cheesecloth. And a journal card from a paper pad. It says, every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath and start again. And then those go in the envelope that I thought turned out really cool. And that is a journal for a young lady. I hope she likes it. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you like what you see, let people know. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.